Hi friends, this is Imamul. So we are going to cover today three topics uh, in this English version. Okay. So the for, let's check what are these three topics. Okay. So first topic will be uh, position sizing. Okay. Position sizing. And the uh, second topic will be uh, trade entry. How to make entry. Third topic will be profit booking. Okay. So here we go we will start with position sizing okay see position sizing is the most important thing in your you know uh, trading or uh, stock market trading this is most important because uh, let's say uh, a famous quote by a one buffet he said don't put all eggs in a single basket right it means uh, he mean to say that uh, never trade you know huge quantity or never put all your capital in a single trade let's say if you are taking a single trade okay and uh, we'll cover it in position signing um, uh, if you are taking a single trade and you have capital of 10,000 uh, I'm taking a very uh, small capital okay so you have a capital of 10,000 right and you are putting all 10,000 in a single trade you are taking 100 quantity of you know any particular stock let's say ABC stock right so what happens is uh, you have took 100 quantity uh, prices uh, ABC prices thousand rupees oh, no no sorry hundred rupees right and you have took hundred quantity hundred and two hundred ten thousand and suppose this your trade went wrong means against your predicted price right you will lose a huge amount right in a single trade let's say it drop by 10 rupees or let's say it drop by 5 rupees right you are losing 500 rupees in a single trade you know amount of loss you are making so what you have to do is you have to divide your capital into four to five parts okay 2.5 or 2k each okay how it goes how it works let's say you are taking a uh, five uh, let's say you are taking four trade okay and you are taking and uh, let's say you are taking five different different trade and in 2000 capital you will buy only 20 quantity okay if the price goes against you you are you are only losing you are only losing uh, 20 into 500 rupees per trade right you're only losing 100 rupees per trade see and uh, let's say you have to uh, five different different position okay so you will uh, if the two trades are going against you and three trades are successful still you are in profit right so how you have to manage your uh, capital how you have to manage your trade this is this is what are the rules you need to follow okay so uh, be careful on your position sizing and trade very carefully so I have given a few rules here how you have to so first uh, divide your capital okay divide your capital 
Oops, sorry. Divide your capital. Divide your capital in uh, four to five parts. It depends if you have used capital, divide it into five parts. Okay. Divide it into five parts and decide how much you can afford to lose in per part. Let's say you have divided 10k into four to five parts, means 2.5k to 2k each. Each parts right so decide how much you can lose on your 2.5 K or 2 K right so and then decide your quantity and according to the stock price and uh, uh, your capital according to your capital and uh, what the current price of the stock is going on decide how much quantity you can take of this particular stock in 2.5 or 2 K right then make your entry make a wait for your perfect price where you see when all the i have already explained or i have given i already share on my you know uh, calls that what will be your price what will be your entry price or exit price so make a perfect entry okay after deciding your quantity make a perfect entry and then book profit wisely as trade taking reverse book immediate profit i will explain in next you know i'm explaining i will explain next uh, how you have to book profit and what is what do i mean if i say make a perfect entry so on position sizing is done if there is any doubt you can ping me on uh, telegram or whatsapp i will try to solve your queries and uh, now we are going to cover and entry about entry okay so let's check how you have to make a perfect entry look for a better trade okay uh, sometimes you uh, someday it happens like you will not get any trade per any perfect trade you are sure short 100% sure about that trade so don't take any trade in which you are not completely sure that right, how it goes or how it's going right so wait for the time wait for the perfect entry when you find the perfect entry then make your entry on a, a given price or you can make entry on my calls at a given price or one to two rupees up or below and then once once the first target is achieved then trail your sl to the first target and wait for the next target let's see this in uh, stock okay mm, yeah uh, let's start Bharat Forge. Actually, let me sorry guys so let me explain you how to make a I give uh, I give this Bharat forge at uh, 532 okay 532 around this level okay and when when you made entry and it uh, let's say you make your entry and it break uh, and SL was I think uh, I don't remember the SL actually it might it might be 536 or 536 or 538 maybe these two may be SL for this bar port okay so uh, let's say you make your entry and it uh, you entered here once your uh, the first price was 29 once you reach to your first price okay 
trail your SL to 529 okay trail your SL to stop loss to 529 and then hold it for the next target next target was uh, 522 and here is 522 okay wait trail your uh, first uh, your initial stop loss was at uh, 5 uh, let's say 536 okay you make entry at uh, 532 first target was 529 second target was 2nd target was your 522 so once you uh, once the price reached to 530, uh, 529 you will trail your SL2 uh, you can trail if you are a high risk trader you can book your profit here at uh, 529 or if you are low risk trader you can trail your sl to 529 okay once it moved by 529 you will trail this 5 uh, sorry 532 you will trail this 532 to 529 once the price moved uh, after 529 moves below the 529 you will trail your sl to 529 and hold it for till the stock reaches to 522 when the stock reaches to 522 trail your sl to 522 and wait and wait for the end of the day or you know uh, sorry just uh, give me a second once the stock reaches to 522 trail your sl to 522 and hold it hold it and keep trailing your SL after this by you know uh, each uh, low high of each candle in case of buy you will trail your SL to low of each candle right in case of sell you will trail your SL to in case of sell you will trail SL to high of last candle okay so uh, then again you will trail your SL to this point and wait for the next where it goes okay so uh, once it break this level okay then you might make re-entry and again your trail uh, stop loss would be the last uh, 522 or 523 uh, as per your capacity as per you afford to make loss or you afford to lose and then you will wait for the next target see where it goes okay it went to approx this level 515 sorry 516 it went to this level right your trade would be squared up on these candles right this candle or this candle so you can I think how much uh, you can know see how much profit you could make by you know keep just by keeping trail your SL so let's check same thing applies on C8 okay C8 was also good today and see my all all calls are working perfectly if you trade wisely you can book multiple profit more than targets right so uh, the reason behind i'm giving target is small is that many small and low risk new traders that doesn't know how to book profit cause of them i always give a small target and uh, you know a very small target just to you know make our accuracy perfect but you can trade wisely and you can make more profit and book more profit out of my call so uh, let's check c8 i gave c8 at 62 around uh, this level i think yeah 62 i think yeah and from 62 you just see the amount of profit you could make 
by just from 62 to 43 okay it went actually 40 around 40 but uh, let's consider the closing price 43 then uh, you are making approx 20 rupees profit right just by keeping keep trailing your SL your first target hit at uh, 58 or 57 then wait for your second target your third target and so on you can make multiple profit same thing see Bata how Bata worked today it was Bata was also an awesome trade for the day right it also went from 62 I think yeah it went around 62 to 28 and if you booked at 28 or 30 where uh, okay uh, let, let me explain how it goes right so I will tell you so I will tell you how to trail your SL on these stocks okay you made entry around i don't remember the actually enterprise uh, let let me consider it uh, 62 okay so if we made entry at 62 our first target will be 62 uh, 59 or 58 see 59 or 58 you might book your first profit around this and then your second profit will be 3 to 10 um, i'm sorry 3 and then 10 okay 62 then your first uh, second target will be around 52 okay and uh, here your first target achieved you can do one thing once your once your stock reached to your first target you can trail your SL cost to cost once your stock reached to second target you can trail your SL to the first target once it reached to the second target you can trail your SL to the second target and hold it till the you know till the last you know in the end of the day right and uh, while holding such type while holding such uh, such type key you can go you can do like uh, uh, stock moved by this 550 at uh, 1352 then you can trail your SL to the uh, low sorry high of the last candle okay then again this candle formed you can trail SL to this candle this candle formed you can trail SL to the this candle sorry, this candle formed trail SL this candle in this candle your SL is hit once it crossing this level exit it again when it's breaking this level you can make entry and make a stop loss to this level and uh, Keep trailing SL to this, 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 this candle. Again, here SL hit exit. Again, you can make re-entry one it, once it breaking its low, and uh, you can make entry here, and your stop loss will be here. Again, after trailing stop loss, trail stop loss here, then here, then here, then here. Once it's breaking here, you can book your profit here, right? So this is how you can make a make multiple entry on a single stock and book multiple time profit right on a single call okay so uh, let me check so you i think you have understood how to your trail your sl okay and see once reach a stock next or drill sl to uh, i have explained all these to you okay so I have explained this also, this also, mm. yes, I have explained this, this one, this one too. So, and I have also explained how to make re-entry. Hope you have got it, how to make re-entry. Yeah. Uh, there is one important thing uh, one thing you need to you know keep in mind while making the entry and this is what you uh, listen carefully you can make re-entry 
when stock is breaking its last high in a single rally or a single moment okay see uh, you can make a re entry here uh, you can make entry here when it's breaking you know it's uh, when it's breaking its you know uh, lower low last low again and again you can make re entry here but see here uh when it's uh, when it comes to make entry here then what you have to do is you have to let then this candle form let you have to let the this come candle complete because the time difference between this candle and this candle is a, a bit higher right uh, 12 to around around two hours okay around two hours time difference between these two candle so what you have to do is you have to you have to wait for to form this candle which candle is breaking its last low you have to wait for this candle to complete and once this candle is formed and the stock is sustained below this breaking point for at least one two three minutes then you can make entry on these candles okay and then keep trailing your asset and book profit always when you are taking the entry when you are taking uh, second entry then always keep your position sizing very small so don't book, uh, don't go blindly and don't uh, you know make a huge position and you might end up losing all your profit and maybe from your capital too so this is what i explained you uh, if a stock has made a high in a morning and breaking that high afternoon and then enter only above if it sustain above the last high for at least one minute in case of this is in case of buy right in case of buy but in case of sell the vice versa thing will be happen profit booking how the profit booking way booking will work uh, i have explained in the last video uh, sorry mm, in last you know profit booking I have explained it here in position sizing sorry uh, re-entry re-entry and perfect entry so same thing will go uh, in bank nifty or stocks where uh, once the stock is giving retracement of once the stock is giving retracement of 3 to 5 rupees in cash and 5 to 15 rupees in bank nifty or nifty you can square off your position and can make re-entry when it again going to break its last high or low okay this is how you can make a multiple entry and make a maximum profit on my trade in just a single in just a single stock okay so that's all for today if you have any queries uh, ping me on telegram uh, link description is in telegram and uh, uh, if you are a paid if you are in paid group you can ping me on whatsapp okay thank you thank you so much for guys for joining me and happy trading wish you have been a profitable journey Okay.